Hey everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Fucking Easy Food Prep for 2019 and welcome Happy back. New Year! <laughs> you can see Mel's wearing one of our lovely shirts. It looks really nice in the white, doesn't it? It does look nice. Yeah. yeah. It look, well, obviously, because you Well, this is supposed to be yours, but I'm going to keep yeah, it. Yeah, you keep it. It looks yeah. good on you. Um, I think my boobs are probably... It fits you better. Um, <laughs> Because your boobs are big. <laughs> they are very big, as people constantly comment on my uh, house. Big fake boobs. That's some of the funny comments mm. on there. Anyway, um, <laughs> we hope everyone had a really good uh, Christmas and you didn't binge too much and drink too much piss like we used to do. So we've come out <laughs> the other side of Christmas as normal, which is good. And I ate really yummy food, mm. but I eat yummy food all the time. I allowed myself to have a few drinks. Um, but yeah, I just don't drink that much anymore. Anyway, so today we're attempting salted honeycomb. Attempting. So, attempting. Attempting. I'm really hoping that this will this will work. <laughs> but that's all right. We fail forward in the Win at Life program. So if it doesn't work. I'll eat it anyway. Exactly. It'll be fine. So we've got. Um, is that? I think it's a uh, half a cup of maple syrup. Now. Oh, I just got that one from the little corner store because I forgot that we didn't have enough maple syrup. But I think you can get a like proper maple syrup brand from Woolworths, which is heaps cheaper. It's like six bucks, which is really good. So I already sell this one now too. Oh, sweet. So it's heaps mm -hmm. cheaper. So that was like $11 only because it was from our bloody corner store. Um, one and a quarter cups of white sugar. Then in this one, we've got a quarter of a cup of water. And that one is... Oh, that's the oh. tablespoon of bicarbonate soda. So... What? Oh yeah, that's the, that's this the crushed flaked salt. But you can just use normal salt. I just had that from a recipe that we'd done previously. So what you're going to do is turn your stove on, and we're going to put everything in except the salt and the bicarb. So we'll put it all in now. Actually, I'll get a wooden spoon to to mix it in the water, and actually get a get a wooden spoon in there. So my trusty assistants. So basically, you're just going to keep mixing this until it, the sugar actually dissolves into the maple syrup. And then after it's dissolved, you're going to let it go on a medium heat, but you're not going to stir it again for another five to seven minutes, basically until it goes like a golden caramelly brown, like more golden than it is. This is what the recipe says anyway. Um, so we're just going to... And you've just got to be careful this bloody pot because you hold that up. If, don't burn yourself. These pots, the handles get quite hot. The expensive pot? The expensive pot style. <laughs> the expensive pot. So we're just going to stir this um, until, it, until it dissolves. <laughs> it's a, maybe if we watch it, it'll go quicker. <laughs> Okay, so it's all the sugars dissolved. Now I'm just gonna turn it down to about, a, okay, so stop stirring now. So now you just wanna stop stirring it. Um, you can do this if you want to, like with the pan. Well, I've just turned it down to like a medium heat. You can sort of shuffle the pan around, but you just want it to simmer gently. So I'm just gonna put the timer on because it says that we need to do it for five to seven minutes. Mm. So stop watch. Good already. Start, okay, cool. So we're just gonna let this um, simmer for five, it says five to seven until it's like a really caramelly brown, but I mean, it looks bloody caramelly brown already, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I'm like, anyway, fuck it, we'll just, we'll see what happens for, um, <laughs> fuck it, we'll just see what happens. Okay. <laughs> it's only a bit of sugar and maple syrup if we have to try again. Mm. Do you know what I was thinking too that would be really nice with this if you got some dark chocolate yes. and melted it? Mm. And then, so like once it had set, put the dark chocolate over, that'd be nice like too. Like a violet crumble. Exactly. Crunchy, Don't you reckon that'd be good? Mm. 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 I really, yes. I really love, um, maybe that's a bit high, do you think? Is it five? Is it supposed to be doing She's supposed to be gently simmering like that, maybe six. I think simmering is like low, like three yeah. or four Yeah, well it's, it says medium heat. <laughs> <laughs> so it says like you can do this. Feel free yeah. to hire us as, as your catering chefs chef anytime. <laughs> now let's talk about the holidays. Let's. So how many of you, because this is what I used to do in the holidays. So I would 
restrict massively up until like just before I'd go on holidays and I'd think, oh, it's fucking 2K, okay. I'm off for two weeks. And then I'd just drink alcohol pretty much every day and I would just like Christmas day binge massively. Mm -hmm. And then I would think, it's okay, kitty, I can get back like on some stupid fucking 1200 calorie diet on New Year's. Did you spell that too? Uh, Christmas Eve, I used to get blind, take drugs, and probably not eat for two days, <laughs> then binge for three days, and then do it all over again over New Year's. Yeah, New nice. Year's used to last probably about three days for me, uh, with no sleep and very little food, and then I would just binge the whole time, and then start another diet. It's hmm. crazy. And I think that so many women are trapped in that cycle of binge, then restrict, um, and it's so nice seeing all the posts in the in the WOW um, Facebook group of the women talking about how, you know, Christmas Day was just like any other normal day, you know, they they ate, some of them enjoyed a few drinks. Um, I had a few drinks. It's not like I never ever drink now. I just drink, drink infrequently. Mm. Um, I bought myself a nice bottle of French champagne just to celebrate because all the growth that we've had in the last year. And I shared it with my mum and my sister and it was really nice. Um, and then there was a lunch we took my parents to, which I had a few um, fruity cocktails because I love cocktails. But the difference now is that I just don't want to get shit faced anymore and I mm. don't binge. I just eat and listen to my body. Mm. And the interesting thing is, is that over that sort of week period, usually I'll track all my food and weigh and measure it like during the week because it's easy. I like to prep it and then the week and eat mindfully. My body weight's the same. Mm. I'm still 69 and a half kilos. It's the same. Yeah. It's like, I think once you take away that restrict, then binge and you educate yourself on food and you can break that cycle of, I need to get shit faced every weekend. Cause you do really have to break the cycle. Don't you think? Well, if you, but, if you eat good food and you know, heal your body, you don't want to drink anyway. Mm. Like I didn't drink at all because I just don't like drinking yeah, you don't, anymore. Yeah, My yeah. body's healing and I love the way I'm feeling. I ate good food um, on Christmas Day. I even cooked. I, I cooked chicken. Outside of fucking easy food prep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cooked chicken and put it on a stick with onion and capsicum. There's oh, well a name, done, name for that. Well, Those kebab. Things, probably. Fish kebab. <laughs> and I put it on the barbecue. A skewer? So, <laughs> but instead of, instead of drinking, I really felt like drinking actually because mm. I was around my negative family. Mm. Um, but yeah, I thought about how I would feel afterwards and it would just bring back that horrible cycle of mm. you know because i would be hung over the next day and then i would eat shit food Same. all day and then Same. i would feel like crap for days and it's just yeah it's not worth it so mm. yeah and i think you know like it it really if you are someone who's like us who used to drink a lot perhaps take drugs you have to go all in you have to say mm. to yourself like i'm not going to drink for a period of time you know like 12 weeks 24 weeks yeah. whatever it is because what you'll find is if you can make that commitment to yourself and you can break the cycle it's not as though you you know like mel never drinks now um craig never drinks i drink every now and then but it's i don't feel i don't feel the need to drink mm. like i'm not like fuck i need to have a drink and if i do have a few drinks i'll have a few and then i'll stop and I'll enjoy it and I won't feel the need to get shit faced. And I probably won't, now I probably won't drink now for another six months because also too, like I enjoyed it, but I just didn't feel optimized. Like my sleep wasn't as great. You know, I woke up the next day, I was a bit tired. Mm. Um, you know, it's just, I think you get used to feeling so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's not as though like you're, you're eating this amazing food every day. You know, like before I had my mm. nice piece of carrot cake and my cup of coffee and my pate on toast for breakfast. And, yeah. you know, you get to eat food that you enjoy. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, ladies, if you're watching this, like, don't fucking spend another year doing the same dumb shit. Like, you can break the cycle. You've just mm. got to invest in yourself. Okay. We've hit five minutes. Do you reckon we should do it for six minutes? Just Looks to, pretty. Do you think? Chewy stir. I see. No. Well, it just says do this. So basically now, like, after you... Do you reckon it's done? Why are you well, asking I don't me? <laughs> we'll give it, we'll give it. Gee, it's real fucking muggy today. Look at my hair. It's like fluffy as oh, hell. The um, fringe is going out. Oh, thank fuck. Thank Never fuck. get the fringe again. Never dog. get the fringe she, again. She's like, remember that time you got a fringe? Um, okay. <laughs> 20 Okay, so after this, get ready, Mel. So we're going to tip this in and you're just going to mix it up until it's like ready. And then you're going to pour it into your pan and then sprinkle the salt on. No, 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 mix it with that, mix it with that. So I'll just turn it. Okay, five, five, five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Just gently mix it in, because it's gonna like froth up massively. Not whisk, just gently mix. Yeah, just make, mix it in. Okay, all right, we're good. Okay, you ready? <laughs> there you go, you, I'll hold the pan. 
It's all bubbling up now. Yeah, mix, keep mixing. And then, when, oh, don't touch the pan, it'll be hot. Yeah, mix it in. Oh, see how it's frothing up? Oh, this is good, it's turning. I think it's gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> keep going. Until when it's fully oh, you're mixed. You're making me nervous. Yeah. You're doing a good job, Dar. <laughs> Thanks, Dar. Keep oh, mixing. Oh, no, like look. Oh, no. It's all like frothing up now. So you just basically want to mix it in until it's mixed together. This is what the recipe says anyway. What do you reckon? I think, do you think that's yeah, good? That's, oh, hang on. A little bit. You don't want any like bicarb soda wow, lumps in it. Oh, look at what that. What do you think? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Okay, so now you want to make sure you've got a pot that's greased. I mean, a pan that's greased, ready to pour in. Don't burn yourself. Oh wow, it looks oh. awesome. It looks so kind of I cool. know. Okay, cool. We good? Oh, we should have used our spatula. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let's just bring this over so everyone can see. You just sort of spread it out. You just don't want to crush the bubbles. So like you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like honeycomb. And then you just want to get the salt and maybe like a teaspoon and a half, depends on how salty you like it, but you just sort of sprinkle, the, you don't even have to put the salt on if you don't want. Oh shush, I hate how this bloody induction thing does this. And you sprinkle a little bit of salt over the top. Oh, it tastes so Is good. Is it good? Oh. Is it so good? Oh, it's so good. Okay, all right, so it, <laughs> sa it's, <laughs> it says to just leave this in a cool place to go hard and then you can like smash it. Do you reckon it'll be right to put it in the fridge? And uh -huh. then we can come back later and we can mm -hmm. see how it's going. All right, so we're gonna put this in the fridge and we'll see you soon. Okay, we're back. Now, it wasn't a fail. <laughs> it was just, it's just, it's hard to know the cooking time. So you can see that in the middle, if you lift it up, the middle, see how that's like quite crunchy, like honeycomb? Oh, it tastes, it tastes like honeycomb, man. Mm -hmm. mm. It's the delicious. flavor's amazing. But the outside is a bit sticky still. So I actually think probably at the start, stir it a bit more to make sure the sugar dissolves. And then I think you need to cook it for longer unless you can get a, um, a thermometer, like a cooking thermometer, because you're supposed to get it to 300 degrees. But I reckon, so we cooked that for six minutes. Mm. What do you think, maybe eight minutes? Maybe, yeah. And just, yeah. And just try it. And I think swoosh it around a bit more as well, like, because we, <laughs> we didn't swoosh it around, did we? But no. that's all right. Now, the way that I'm going to do this recipe in my fitness pal is because in my fitness pal, because obviously I'm not going to be able to really cut that up into even bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh this whole thing. <laughs> and I'm going to, okay, so it's 449 grams. So what I would do is put that recipe into my fitness pal, put in, it makes 449 serves, and then you just weigh out however much you want to have at one time and then so like if you, if it was 100 grams you'd put in 100 serves so there you have it honeycomb <laughs> it, it wasn't a complete fail but i think next time if we just try and cook it for an extra couple of minutes i think it'll work out nice but the flavor is just amazing it's hey delicious. oh my god it's so good it really and like the salt how like see mm. look that's mm. really nice and hard mm -hmm. mm. Mm, how good is it mm. Mm. it's good Tastes like proper honeycomb, eh? Mmm, mmm. It's really mm. good. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.